don't, I don't make any effort to, to look like or feel like. In fact, I'm complete the, completely the opposite of uh, glamour or wanting to fight for something. Did, did I, have you heard me use the word surrender? I don't think there's anything I, uh, any effort I have to make other than to be civil, <laughs> to, to have my bath and to, 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 to be decent looking and to be nice, uh, 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 what, as I said, civil to people, that's all. Respectful of others, I'm respectful of myself. I just, if I just wake up, I don't have any diet. But I guess from my training as an actor, uh, I still continue with the exercises. I dance up to this morning already. You know, 6.30, I'm up, and the first thing I'm doing, I'm up on my toes and doing all this and whatever, and making sure circulation is going and everything. So I reduce aches and pains that would be associated with somebody who is older, I, I imagine. Uh, and uh, as I said, I'm ambulatory. I'm running around all the time. Uh, I read an awful lot. I'm learning great things. So as regards looking younger, whatever it is, I can talk to any young people because I, you know, whatever it is, I, know, I even know more than they do because I'm curious about what's going on in the world. So I can have a conversation with anybody uh, about, I'm updating my knowledge all the time. Maybe that's what makes, makes, uh, makes a difference. Uh, so my perception of life is that you just live it. You know, you, know, you live, live, live until you die. And I don't, as, uh, death is not something that I, uh, I, I spend my time looking at. Living is what occupies me. And every day that's it. And the fact that on a day, like every day, you don't know what's going to happen to you. So I'm looking forward every day with a great ent enthusiasm to what life throws at me. And only praise uh, uh, that I am ready to respond appropriately to whatever it is that comes to me. That's about all. That it's, it's, it still fascinates me because people ask me, you know, how do I feel at 80 for a start, and then I, how I look and, and behave younger or whatever. Do I behave in any younger way? I don't think so. I think when, you, when I open my mouth, it's so boring to most, most people that you say, oh, this is Methuselah or something or the other. So is there anything young about the way I think? I, don't, I doubt it. Yeah. But that's it. Maybe the zeal. Enthusiasm. Okay. We must all keep enthusiasm. The old, the age, aged, the elderly lose enthusiasm for life. They work themselves up into being tired. Yes, there's not very much that is happening that is encouraging. <laughs> but if you go by how the world is, you never want to get out of bed. And as I said, I strongly believe that we should be uh, what we want of the world. We should be the change we want in the world. So I don't want anybody being, I don't want to uh, receive anybody with a solemn face, uh, with defeatism, with uh, negativity, because all of that is unhealthy. Do you know, the way we think affects uh, the chemicals of our body. Do you know, there's such a thing called a solar plexus we have. Each one of us has a sun. We're carrying a sun in our, in our body. It's right here, between your, uh, uh, between your breast, uh, breast bleed or whatever it is. It's called the solar plexus, the sun muscle. When you're thinking negatively, you shut down the sun. Notice what happened when the sun went down. Life goes off. Life goes out. This sun that radiates us and energizes us is also inside us. So when we start thinking negatively, unhappy and everything, we discombobulate our body completely. All the chemicals go wacky. We're down in the depths. And that affects us chemically. 
So you catch a cold, you get something or the other, you develop cancer, you all manner of things happens when the solar plexus is shut down. So you think negatively, and you then you reach for the drink or do whatever it is, but when you are at the upbeat, and the, and the sun is shining, the sun in your life, the sun in your body is shining, everything is rosy. Everything is wonderful. It's like being in love. You know when you are in love, <laughs> You see the world in a completely different setting. Well, I try to be in love with life. I'm in love with love. And I'm in love with life. And so I'm always happy to wel welcome another day because I know it's going to surprise me with something wonderful. I don't wake up and say, oh, God. No. I wake up and say, God, thank you. How wonderful. Am I awake again? Woo. That's the first miracle in my life. So I'm happy. Nothing else is going to come after that that I'm going to be unhappy about. I, I ex I'm, not, I'm now expecting wonderful things. First question I ask, what wonderful things are going to happen to me in my life today? That's not a childish thing, and it's not a woo woo rah -ra nonsense. No, I ask myself. What are the things, what are the wonderful things that are going to happen to me today? And they do come. And so, that's, the, that's my outlook. And you can't call me trivial or, or what is it? Simple. I am simple. I know what I'm doing. So I work at my chemicals being alive and kicking. And my solar plexus being open. And of course, I'm enthusiastic to welcome the day. If uh, when, when people get older, you, know, you have difficulties, your knee is hurting you, your arthritis is going. <laughs> uh, if you give time to it, then of course, it's going to hurt some more. Do you know, a few years ago, uh, I fell at FRCN, which really you know, did a lot of harm to me, and I developed arthritis, and I thought I wouldn't walk, walk again. Yeah? I was walking with a walker. If you saw me, then you wouldn't believe it. And people ask, ah, why am I still going? They gave me all sorts of drugs to take, all manner of things. They suggested that I might need to have an operation and have a plate in my knee. And I said, no. This has happened in my life. I said, no. They sent me to physiotherapy. I saw what they were doing. It's no different from what I learned at, at my drama school and I've done for years. So I said, thank you. I collected all the information that technically they thought would help. And I already had the information. And I started with myself. A year later, I went to a physiotherapist in England and says, ah, you should be taking my class. <laughs> because it's, it's worked for you and I should be taking my class. Well, People are asking, what happened? What happened is that I worked on it. I decided to, that I was not going to be walking around with a walking stick. I mean, I was 70 what? 74, 75. I was old enough to be crippled like yeah. that. It is accepted that when you are old, you're going to have this, that, and the other. But it wasn't going to, as, uh, as Christians say, it wasn't going to be my portion. It was going to happen to me. So what I do is test all my theories. I tested all of them. Before I put my feet down from my bed, there are sets of exercises I would do. I still do it today. I still do, before I come down from the bed, I'm going to do certain exercises physical that I could manage there to get everything working. So I would do that. Very painful. Terrible. I strengthened my thighs, strengthened my feet, strengthened my ankles, strengthened everything, and I carried on and I carried on and I carried on. When I moved in here uh, to get out of bed, I would crawl on my falls to go to the loo. Yeah. 
I couldn't stand up without, I would crawl. And then here I am. I didn't need any doctors. I didn't need uh, the God, natural, some very strong drugs. They gave me drugs. I still got them. I bought them. I still got them. I ain't using them because they give me other problems I don't need. If you know about pharmacology, no thank you. Side effects are. So I didn't use them. So I worked. I used that. Everything you need, you have. The universe is inside of us, if only we knew. Mm -hmm. So I used my, my, uh, my marbles. Mm -hmm. So I worked on myself every day. And then when I got down from the bed, having done that, I have things I have to do against the wall on the chair, blah, 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 blah. So nowadays I walk 10,000 steps. That's my watch. So I strengthened my back, strengthened my thighs, strengthened everything, and healed myself. Well, I should go to the church and give that testimony. No drugs. I don't even take paracetamol. Because the mind does everything. And then who is in the mind? It's your God now. It's your Godhead speaking. That says there is nothing you cannot achieve. Nothing you can't accomplish. So maybe it's that kind of shoot spa. And f well, I was going to say fight. It's a drive. It's not a fight, it's a drive. It's being alignment, being in alignment with nature. I planted all of these things. They're my friends. I go hugging trees. They're my sisters and brothers and everything. I'm fascinated with how you can put something in the ground and emit some minerals or whatever it is. It connects with life out there and it starts coming up and there you are. And it gives you food. These are avocado pears. So I'm fascinated by nature, I'm fascinated by life, and I'm fascinated in life. Have you always been this way? I suppose I have always been, but I get, it gets deeper and deeper as I get older, because I can see affirmations, I can see confirmation, I can see reality, I can see clearly. I can confirm that it's working. And when somebody gives me a testimony of their lives, I'm tearing up because I know, yes, we're not put here to struggle. We're put here to be supported. But we don't know. We don't know where to reach for the, for the help. And the, and the help is not far from us, it's, it's us. And the simple thing you do is do unto others as you want them to do unto you. You start doing that, respecting other people and looking after them. Because then you're looking after yourself. What I always call enlightened self-interest. Because if I do to you what I would like you to do to me, it's my self-interest I'm protecting. So sometimes I do something, people want to thank me. I say, don't thank me. I'm doing it for myself. I feel good. I feel better. I do that to you. You know, you are warmer. I am warmer. We're both happy. Win-win. So do that. And when you do that, when you're looking at life like that, well, I was telling you a story about Moses and choosing life. I chose life. And I'm going to live it, live it, live it, live it until I die. So that's about it. So elderly people shouldn't think it's finished. And, and then they get depressed. You know, when you're doing what you're doing every day and you are not working anymore, there's a tendency to feel that it's finished. It isn't finished. Because you, you still meet people. You still have to be giving. You see, I've learned that in life, you get what you give to the world. It's about service, really. You give to the world you know, it will, give the, it will give the exact same measure to you. So I like to give, 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 because, and, and you can see how I'm receiving. It works. The system works. You're supported by the system. You're supported by the nature. You're supported by life. You're supported by all your peers, all your friends. 
because they know you like them, you love them. So they beam love at you. And who doesn't blossom it with love? Nobody. So I'm in love with everybody. Sometimes people misunderstand it, but that's their problem. But I know what I'm doing. <laughs>